Hello, I'm Ken and I'm still on vacation. Wanted to take a minute out of my busy schedule to talk about a coping tool, uh, a cognitive distortion that we call catastrophizing. Uh, Chicken Little was really good at catastrophizing and she thought the sky was falling, it was running around and causing a big scene in the barnyard. And there's a couple things we can do if we catch ourselves catastrophizing to help us not get so out of control or distressed. For Chicken Little, a little reality testing might have been good. Had she looked around, she might have seen that instead of a piece of sky on the ground next to her, there was an acorn. So running around screaming, acorns are falling, would be a little bit more realistic than the sky is falling. The other thing is to think of, you know, three scenarios. The first one's the easiest. It's the worst possible scenario. That's usually the catastrophic thinking. That's where our mind goes. The second is the most favorable scenario. And then the third is the most likely. So the other day I was riding my bicycle and I was looking across the lake and I could see that a storm was coming in and the wind was getting so violently, um, just from every direction, it was tossing me around and it was gonna knock me over. So I decided to get off and walk. I was about six, seven miles from town and I could see across the lake the storm coming in and I knew I was going to get wet. So what I did was I started walking and as far as worst scenario, I reminded myself that I was wearing a rain suit. I had different layers of clothing on because it was about 40 degrees out and that I was going to be okay. I knew that uh, the, the worst thing that I had was I didn't have my, my Gore-Tex socks on so that my, my feet might get a little wet but I was wearing wool socks, so I wasn't gonna catastrophize with that because I knew my feet would still stay warm. Well, when the storm hit, it wasn't rain, it was frozen rain. So I stood there in the sleet and I started catastrophizing, thinking that maybe a car wasn't gonna see me there and I was gonna get hit, so I moved a little bit farther off the road. And the sleet, if you've ever had sleet in your eyes, it really stings. But I thought of the best scenario that this wasn't gonna last for very long and I could just pull my hood over my bicycle helmet and zip it up and just stand there and weather out the storm. I reminded myself that I've lived through Iceland weather. I can live through weather here in Southern Oregon. So I thought of the, the best scenario didn't let my head go to the worst scenario, and I got the best scenario. Anyway, the storm has passed over. It's a beautiful day today. Got a few more miles to go. So practice catching yourself if you're on that road to a huge cognitive distortion of catastrophizing. And think of the least uh, likely scenario and the most likely scenario and uh, usually that's the best one to go with. I'll catch you down the road.